Hello everyone, Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my wine channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Joseph Phelps 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon. I'll have the price um, in the comment section. It's just over a hundred dollars here Canadian, so not a um, inexpensive bottle. Joseph Phelps is one as a very iconic person in Napa Valley. He started off I don't think in the wine business, he was in the wine business, but he made his money, I think, um, real estate and con con contractor, being a contractor. Um, so, and he purchased a 600 acre cattle ranch in St. Helena and turned that into a winery. And that's it's still owned by the Joseph Phelps family today. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Phelps had, has passed away, but his family still owns this. I was fortunate to pick up at auction some wines, some Joseph Phelps wines from his cellar. So hopefully I will be able to review those eventually. So here's the bottle, very simple design. Joseph Phelps, 2018, Napa Valley. So I guess it, the grapes come from all over Napa Valley. It's since 1970, very minimal, minimalistic um, their approach. And you can see even the cork very minimalistic not much to it um, has a 2018 on it the wine itself very dark almost like a black currant uh, blood red purplish color you'd expect that with the 2018 um, but very very attractive color um, very dark very strong the story the wine story started in 1973 when he purchased the, his lands in St. Helena. Um, in 1974, he started the label Insignia, which is their flagship um, wine. And they have, although other people have done varied other things, he stuck both basically with Cabernet Sauvignon and his blends or his flagship wines are all predominantly uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. So for this blend the 2018 vintage it's 97 percent cabernet Sauvignon, incredible amount two percent cabernet franc and one percent malbec um, it is from select vineyards in the napa valley so um, uh, uh, joseph phelps owns a number of vineyards so it comes from saint helena from south napa valley i think most of it comes there from there then oak knoll district and then also the stag's leap district the wine is aged in 18 months in oak, 40% uh, is new oak, and then 60% is one to two year old. And they use both French and American barrels. So I have opened this wine and I've tasted it with a number of my friends yesterday. It was decanted for two hours before I tasted it. Um, so, and this is the next day. When it came out, and again, you have to take it from my perspective. I'm uh, mostly a Bordeaux drinker. It came out very, very tannic. Uh, right out of the bottle, I, I, and I tried to taste these things right away. Right out of the bottle, it was really tannic. And what I would describe as punishing tannins. To me, that was punishing. Not a lot of um, taste to it. Just alcohol and tannins. Like, not fun at all for me. Um, even yesterday, I thought it was quite tannic and quite punishing. Although other people that I drank with who are more like Napa wines thought it was fine. They like that um, punch. They like that um, strength. Uh, and to me, it was a little strong and I really couldn't taste much other than black fruit and tannins and alcohol. And it um, was a little aggressive for my taste buds. So let's taste it now after a day. So on the nose, um, you get a little bit of sweet oak, probably this is the French oak, but a little vanilla and um, black fruit for sure. I wanna say black plums, much better today than yesterday when I drank it. Much small, uh, smoother, much more integrated in my opinion. 
but I wouldn't call this a relaxing wine. I wouldn't call this a sipping wine. It really needs food. This is not, um, as one of my other friends said, this is not a bottle that you just kind of like crack open and relax. It's, this would be a perfect bottle, bottle after you've had a hard day and you need a little shot of something. I think that's the type of bottle it is. It, 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 I guess in that way, it's a relaxing wine if you want something really to hit you. Um, so nice aroma. And much softer today, much better. Still, I can feel the heat of the alcohol. It's not that strong, the alcohol content, but 14.5%, not crazy. Um, got some fruit, but predominantly um, some herbs. It's not, uh, and I'm just comparing to other wines that I've had, definitely better than a stronger intensity than um, the Louis Martini wine that I tasted. But in terms of with Camus, Camus is much sweeter and much more fruit forward from my perspective. Um, this is a little bit more restrained on the fruit. Maybe it's the tannin level. Um, a little bit more Bordeaux-esque, quite frankly. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not, in my mind, um, it needs a lot of food and it probably needs five to eight years. Um, it's, to me, it's quite tannic still. It's got a lot of heat in terms of the alcohol content. Um, and I don't think the flavors have all come out now. Good acidity. I'd say medium plus acidity. So that's good for the long-term aging of the wine. At the aftertaste, I'm getting a little co uh, chocolate and cocoa. Um, black fruit for sure. Tannins are not as aggressive as yesterday. Um, but I don't think it's totally integrated right now. Um, I, I'm going to have the wine spectator. I don't know what it is. My mind right now, it's 90 points. It's not, um, in my mind, it's not ready. It's, it needs a lot of age, like five to eight years. And that's after, you know, two hours of aeration plus, um, a day uh, I'm drinking this day after so it needs extended aeration for those that like Napa cab wines strong strong Napa cab wines you'll like this and um, I've had other I've tasted with other people who, who really enjoyed this um, it's a little bit aggressive for my taste buds and um, if you're gonna have it I still would decant it uh, at least two hours I would have it with food like a steak or a lamb chop, um, but uh, yeah, I, I think it, it's probably gonna show a lot better after about five or eight years. Good wine, quality producer. I'm not saying it's not gonna be quality. I don't think it's gonna stay at 90 points. I think it will, with age, uh, be a bit higher, but at this point, I just, um, it's really young and really tannic. Hope you've enjoyed this tasting. Until next time, happy drinking.